right, so today we are going to find the best find the best bruschetta in Ukraine and here we are at the key of main bus station and we're gonna go to Cherniga which is a city in the north near the Belarus border and over there they have the best bruschetta that I've had in Ukraine or pretty much anywhere else maybe except Italy somewhere all right it's gonna be a fun trip promised city of Chernigov. Now we have to check into the hotel, take a minute and move on. This is the view from the room. This is what you see from the hotel room in the center of Chernigov. We have a lady there watering her plants. All in all, not a bad room at all. All in all, a pretty decent room. All right, now we're going to the restaurant to get some really good food, finally. Finally made it. <laughs> Guys, I want to introduce you. This is one of the best bruschetta I've ever had. And as it happens to be, it's in Ukraine. This is one of the most amazing bruschettas. And I've been dreaming about this for a whole year. And got some beer too. But this bruschetta is something else. This is really, really good. And the beer is good too. Mm. That's some good, good beer. This bruschetta is magical. This bruschetta, check this out, is absolutely magical. So I want to show you the menu in English so you can see. This is really, really good. This bruschetta, all of these bruschettas is good. And what we did, we basically got, I got the ribs, and plus we're going to have the cow's tongue as well. Check this out, look at this. These are the drink menu, so you can see what's happening. So, Alright, so the main course has arrived, I got the ribs, and we got something else here, cow's tongue and some potatoes, we got some potatoes. Looking forward to this very, very much. All finished and it was pretty good. Good stuff. Alright, so we decided to order another round of this amazing bruschetta. It's actually made with salmon. This is one of the best bruschettas I've had in a long, long time. And so, this is just another round, just in case. All right, we just finished our food and it was pretty damn good. It was really, really good food. And now we're walking home. I'm gonna find some coffee or something, some tea to drink before heading back to the hotel. Breakfast is served. Mm. That looks good. That looks really good.
breakfast is ready. Good morning, Chernigo. Gonna go for a walk today. See what's interesting. See what's good. See what's exciting. And then it's time to head back to Kiev. So here's uh, the city's main park and what I really like about the city is that it's, it's very clean it's very organized very taken care of unlike some of the other cities and you know it's nice to walk around to chill to relax to enjoy and in the evening a lot of people basically come here to relax families music entertainment stuff like that and so lots of lots of good things to do and we are only about 75 kilometers from the border with Belarus so there is an option there as well and so as you can see there's no litter nothing here super clean super amazing and we have a statue here of one of the main kind of people in ukraine we have another church over there ah, and so it's To be honest with you, for a city in Ukraine, it's very, very, very clean. Because Ukrainian cities are not as clean, typically. And so here we have the main statue. There is a church over there. They actually say that Belarus is a lot cleaner than Ukraine so this could be a reason that we're so close to Belarus that it's very very clean and very similar probably more to Belarus but I've never been there so I do not know but it's definitely cleaner than Kiev see there's not much litter there's not much garbage people really know how to take care of their own city which is very very nice and so we're gonna walk around here for a little bit, maybe grab some coffee, enjoy a few more hours in the city, and then head back to Kiev, the capital, the mighty Kiev. And we'll see what happens. All right, so here's an interesting character here. And this is, here you go. This is pretty cool, a nice little statue nicely taken care of so we're gonna go for a walk a little bit of a morning tour on this relatively chilly Monday morning the temperature is about 15 degrees Celsius or around what is it 55 55 60 degrees Fahrenheit which is perfect for me because I can walk around in a t-shirt as you can see most of the people are already wearing jackets so here we are at the main kind of center of the city the main square and one thing I want to point out is that the city is not very Soviet at least when you compare it to some of the other cities uh, it's got a lot of this it's got a very big European feel it's got this big kind of square you have some other things here you have some really nice buildings and it's a very very nice city actually very lo lots of greenery lots of parks very very pleasant and here's uh, actually the main street of the city this is where a lot of restaurants are the nightlife is also happening here it's a pretty cool place it's, it's definitely happening in the evening 
until about until about 10 p 10 11 p.m people are enjoying themselves having fun having drinks eating chilling etc etc very cool little street and here's the main map of the city so as you can see that is the center right here where the green is and that's pretty much it there's a lot of interesting things around but we are right in the center so we're gonna walk around for a bit go to the park check out that park over there see what that's like and check out some of the other nice things about this place so as you can see the city is undergoing some restoration projects that looks like an interesting building with, an, with a cool roof so I think there's gonna be some cool stuff happening but one thing I want to point out is that there's not a lot of cars that are parked on sidewalks which is very very rare in Eastern Europe and Ukraine and so this is a really cool park that we're gonna go for a walk a little bit just check it out take a look at these trees look how clean it is look how everything is orderly it's almost as though I'm in Central Europe really in Poland or something and not really in Ukraine look at that park the park is beautiful clean cut taken care of really really pleasant city to be honest with you maybe even one of the most pleasant cities i've been to in ukraine except maybe western ukraine which is very very scenic as well Где-то тут? А вот он. Ah, so we're gonna get some coffee. One of these places here, check it out. history people relaxing enjoying we, uh, we even have a little bit of a technology thing that lets you basically have a more of an interactive experience which is pretty cool so I don't know if this works there you go so you can basically take a look you can put in English and there you go, eat, drink, and, lo and, and live, services, entertainment, explore, guided tours, city map, take a look at the city map, and we'll wait until it loads. And there is the city map. It's pretty nice. Ukraine is slowly becoming more and more technologically savvy. Uh, so here we are approaching uh, one of the little churches, cathedrals of the 17th century. And here's an important person in the history of Ukraine. He's called Getman. And it's kind of a, you know, a leader or a 
president or kind of like a governor. I would say even a more of a governor kind of person. Here you say Chernigov, the name of the city, 100 years. You have this. There is another little cathedral, Russian Orthodox, Eastern Orthodox. And then you even have this little thing here where you can basically scan it and you can read it in English or Ukrainian or maybe some other languages as well. And so it's a it's a fairly big park. It's a fairly big park, lots of areas, very green city, lots of places to explore. Very pleasant city. The only thing about it is it's a little bit of a smaller city. It has like one main street which as a more of a big city guy it's going to be a little bit difficult so in other words i would recommend that maybe a day or two and then you're going to get bored and you'd want to go out and get back to kiev probably so i would say one night two nights is plenty for this kind of city all right so here we're just walking around in the kind of the residential part of the city this is what it looks like you have some children's playground a rocket and it pretty much looks the same in pretty much anywhere in Eastern Europe be it Ukraine, Belarus, Russia you have some clothes drying here and you have, of course, the customary Lada or Zhiguli. This would not be the same without this car. It must be here as well. So this is what the residential area looks like. And now we have to get out and go to the bus station. So it looks like we finally found the bus station in the back of a McDonald's, no less. And now we got about half an hour to make it, to make it on the bus to go to Kiev. Now we just have to see if they have that same bus over there. It looks like they do. Okay, so that wasn't exactly the bus stop. The bus stop is actually across the street and we are super happy we came here early. As always is the case here in Ukraine, you have to plan for contingency. You have to plan contingency. So now we're gonna walk there and we're gonna buy this ticket, finally. And thank God the bus stop is not on the other side of town. Yeah, Marin. So now we have to cross the street, buy our tickets, and we are in business. So there's the office, and now we can finally buy the ticket with around 20 minutes to spare. So I'm very, very happy for this development. Super excited. All right, so we got the tickets. And now we just have to wait for the bus and we are going to be in Kiev in a couple of hours, back home. Going to be saying goodbye to this beautiful city until next time for adventures. Alright, so if 
while we are ready to leave the city, what can we say about it? What are the pros and the cons? The pros is that good food, good, uh, a very relaxing, very small city, easy to get around, uh, clean, relatively friendly. The con is that it's fairly small. It doesn't have that big city feel. It's also cheaper than obviously than Kiev and the other big cities. So, in my opinion, if you are ever in Kiev, it's 100% worth it to come here for a night or two. Affordable place, good way to kind of travel around, I recommend it. And so, yeah, but one day or two days maximum, because there's just not much to do around here. And so, for us, it was one or two nights, it's perfect. More than enough, a little bit of a get getaway, a little bit of a mini vacation and then get back to the capital and continue life there. So at this point, just waiting for the bus. Hopefully it's gonna come very, very soon. And then we should be in Kiev in a couple of hours, barring any traffic. It is Monday, so there could be some traffic getting into the city, but hopefully there won't be that much traffic. All right, looks like our bus is here, finally. And we can board, and get on our way. Finally on the bus. I'm gonna be leaving in like 15-10 minutes and then back home. Alright, so we are back in the capital of Kiev after a really great trip. And it's been a fun trip. Now it's time to go home. So until next time and new adventures.